Would you like a biscuit? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Courtney and today we are talking wood biscuits. I'm going to call this video the second installment of my unofficial hardware store series. The first video was the 10 DIYs with wood shims. I will link that video down below, but today we are talking about these little wood biscuits. So what is a wood biscuit? It is used to join pieces of wood together. You can find them in multiple sizes. Some of them have texture, some of them are nice and smooth, but your hardware store should carry these. I was able to find just the Ryobi brand at Home Depot in two different sizes. So that's what I'll be using today. But before we get into these awesome DIYs, let me quickly take a minute to thank EveryPlate for sponsoring today's video. All right, so what is EveryPlate? It is a meal service, and you guys know that I absolutely love this company. I am happy to talk about them when they reach out to me because we do pay for their three meals a week for four people service, and it is fantastic. You get everything you need in the box. You get your recipe cards, and those are the meals that you get to pick out from a list of delicious recipes. And then the back of the recipe cards has step-by-step -step instructions with pictures, so it's super easy to follow. My college kiddo loves to make these meals for us and everything comes to you in the box that you need. It's fresh, it's delicious. And I mean, they even include the little tiny condiments. It's definitely a cost effective way and an easy way to make your meals. So if you want to give them a try, they've given me a coupon code for you guys. It's creative Courtney two, and you'll be able to get your meals for $1.99 per serving plus an additional 20% off your next two boxes. So I highly recommend them. I think it's delicious and I hope you'll give them a try. Now, without further ado, let's get in to these wood biscuit DIYs. For the first wooden biscuit project, I am going to make what I immediately thought of when I saw these, and that is some wooden flowers. So I'm gonna end up making two flowers, but you certainly could make as many as you want. And for each flower, you're gonna need 10 of these wooden biscuits. I'm gonna paint all of these white. And then for the centers of the flowers, I'm gonna use some half wooden beads that I got off of Amazon, and I'm gonna paint them with the color Sunflower by DecoArt. Now that all the flower pieces are painted, I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling these. Now, originally I thought, oh, I'll just do five petals, but when I put the center on it, it looked a little wonky donk. So I went ahead and decided that it needed two layers. But again, this is customizable. I mean, you could totally um, make it as many petals as you want. And actually, when I was messing around with them, there was a way I got one to kind of look like a tulip. So there's that option too. You can kind of play around with these and make several different designs. So I'm just gonna use some hot glue to get these flower petals put together. And then for the center, I'm just gonna hot glue that right on top. Now it was time to add my stems to the flower. So originally I thought I was gonna use a dowel rod from Dollar Tree, but it was a little too thick. I wanted to keep these kind of dainty. So I ended up grabbing some of these wooden bamboo skewers that also came from Dollar Tree. And I just hot glued it to the back of the flower. I also was thinking I was gonna leave it that natural color, but in the end, I do end up going in with a little bit of brown wax and going ahead and darkening up those stems. Now I needed to work on what I was gonna put my flowers in and so I just grabbed this Dollar Tree vase and I gave the vase two good coats of the Waverly White chalk paint and then I wanted it to have some yellow on it as well so I went ahead and just taped off some sections of the vase and went in with some yellow, the same sunflower yellow paint and made some yellow stripes. Thank you. 
Now we're ready to go ahead and start finishing off this project. So I wanted to tie a bow around the front of the vase. And this is some rope that I got from Amazon. It actually um, is not quite as thick as the Dollar Tree rope, but it's definitely thicker than twine. I'll link it down below if, I, if they still have it. But I'm just gonna tie a bow. And then to get my flowers in there, I cut a piece of pool noodle because I just love using that as a hack instead of floral foam. It's cheap and it's easy. And I got my flowers arranged. And then the last step was I just wanted to add a little bit of greenery coming out from the bottom of the vase and so I just kind of cut and snipped little pieces of greenery that I had and if you didn't know again one of my favorite hacks on greenery is if you have a Hobby Lobby go and buy a greenery garland when they're half off and I'm telling you it will last you forever and anyway that's my last step and then you're left with this really fun bright and perfect summertime decor For this second project, it is super easy. We're gonna be making a decorative mirror using this pack of mirrors that I got from Amazon. If you saw my wood shim video, I will link it down below as well as put it at the end of this video. Um, I made a sunburst mirror and this one would be perfect to put up on the wall next to that mirror if you did end up making that mirror. So my first step here was to go ahead and peel the film off of this mirror. And then I was ready to start um, applying my wood biscuits and peekaboo, there I am. <laughs> um, anyway, so I just kind of laid them out and the wood biscuits have a pattern and a design on them. As you can see here, there was kind of a little line right there. So that's the part of the wood biscuit. I kind of matched that up with the edge of the mirror so that all my wood biscuits would be placed the same way um, on top. And then what I decided is you could certainly just do one layer of these and then call it good. You wouldn't have to leave them natural if you wanted to spray paint it. Um, obviously you'd probably want to paint these before you apply it to your mirror. Otherwise you're doing a tricky uh, tape up job of the mirror and you could leave just one, but I went ahead and do two layers of it. And to get these attached, all I used was some hot glue and that's it. A very simple and quick project that has a lot of impact for your home decor. For the third project, we're gonna be decorating this Dollar Tree vase. So the first step is I'm going to apply some of my wooden pieces. I'm gonna to try to stop saying wood biscuits because I feel like I'm gonna end up saying it 8 million times in this video and you guys are gonna be like, I, we get it, Courtney, it's a wood biscuit. But anyway, I'm gonna start by hot gluing some of these wooden pieces <laughs> to the bottom of the vase. Now, when I glue the piece on, what I'm doing is I'm gluing it on and then I'm setting it, my vase upright to make sure that my piece is in the right place. Because if you just kind of go around and glue it, some of your little wooden pieces may stick down further and then your vase won't sit um, flush against the table. So the first step was just to go around in a row and hot glue all the way around the bottom of the vase. Now that the first row is on, we're ready to start working on the second row. So you're just gonna take some hot glue and you're just going to kind of wedge those um, little wooden biscuits in between the two, that little gap right there, and you're just gonna go all the way around. Now, um, I had plans to make two different designs of this vase, so I just wanna tell you quickly the one that I didn't make, and that would be just to continue this pattern all the way up the glass, and then that's it. I like how there's little kind of spots where the glass is showing through, and I think that would look really pretty if you put a candle in there, but I ran out of the wooden biscuits and I ran out of time. So if you decide to make that design, please tag me, send me a picture or something. I would love to see how that one turned out. But for me, what I, like I said, I went ahead and did a second row, 
and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and start layering some more pieces on top of these two rows. Now I opted to just do two rows of this. You could put a third row on this. Again, it's really customizable, but now I'm ready to go ahead and add my second layer. So on the bottom row, as well as that second row, I'm just putting these wood pieces in between the two. And I'm kind of working simultaneously where I attach some on the bottom and then one on the top, then bottom, top, bottom, top. And I just go all the way around until I have two layers of these wood pieces on the base. And then that's it. This is all finished. Moving into project number four, we're gonna be making a fancy leg trinket tray. So I'm gonna start off with one of these signs that came from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna pop off the back. Now you could use this backing and either paint it or add scrapbook paper to it, but I'm gonna use some lift leftover stick wood that I had from when I did my feature wall. So I'm gonna use the backing from this sign and just go ahead and trace around it and then trim up the piece of wood so that I can stick it back in the frame. To make the legs for this tray, I went ahead and took two of the wooden pieces and then glued one in the center of those. And then I flipped it over and then attached two pieces to the two pieces and then one to the front. And then I ended up with a leg looking thing that I was pretty happy with. And I went ahead and made a total of four of these. Now that the legs are all made, I'm just going to attach these with some hot glue into each of the corners of the back of the sign. And then once I glue them down, I kind of go in with a little extra hot glue just to make sure they're nice and secure. And originally I was gonna just leave these legs a natural color, but then I decided I could probably work this into Sam's redo. So I went ahead and painted them with some navy paint. For project five and six, we are making some jewelry. Um, the necklace portion of this, I'm gonna kind of talk you through it, but for the earrings I'm about to make, your first step is gonna be to poke some holes at the top. So I'm just gonna use this weeding tool that I had because it was super sharp and I just kind of twisted it in there, but I'm guessing I probably could have also just used my Dremel. Once I get the holes poked, then it's all about what color you wanna paint it, if you wanna make designs, and I decided to go ahead and use some metallic turquoise paint. And now you need to grab your little earring set. I got this from Amazon. Um, it was a really good deal and it came with all these different colors. They were nickel free, lead free, and it came with a jump ring opener, which was huge as well as pliers and tweezers. So if you're looking for something, definitely check it out. I will try to link it down below if it's still available. And for this one, I decided to go with the matted gold. You'll need one of the larger jump rings as well as one of the smaller ones. The larger jump ring is the one that's actually gonna feed through the hole on your wooden earring. The smaller one is is going to be attached to your actual earring hook and then attached to that larger jump ring. So it's just a matter of opening these up and then hooking them all together and making yourself an earring.
Now, I did want to mention, um, part of this was I said you could make a necklace. Now, I didn't actually have any necklace making materials, but Michaels does sell the chains as well as different little pendant holders. So by saying you can make a necklace, you certainly could make a matching little pendant. You could do several of them kind of spaced out and make kind of more of a... I don't know what you want to call it, like a flourish pendant necklace. So definitely options there to make a complete set of jewelry. Project number seven, you know, if you saw my wood shim, I couldn't get away without making a, another little wooden tree. So I'm going to start with one of the mini flower pots from Dollar Tree, as well as some floral foam. And then I'm going to take some of these mini styrofoam cones. I actually got these on clearance last year from Hobby Lobby and the Christmas stuff and a Dollar Tree dowel rod. And I'm going to go ahead and stick that up in the cone and then just secure it in there with a little bit of hot glue. And then taking some of the wood biscuits, I'm going to hot glue them along the bottom of the cone, but I'm going to put them about halfway along the bottom so that they hang past the styrofoam. And then from there, it's just a matter of layering it on there to get the look that you want. Just attaching them here, attaching them there, uh, just working it as full as you want it or as skinny as you want it. Lots of options. Um, I did go ahead and start with this natural because my other tree that I made was natural. But then after I looked at it, I thought it would be really pretty if I went ahead and painted it. And so I did give it just kind of brushed on some white paint. And with the design on the wood biscuits, it totally gave off gingerbread vibes. So definitely keep these wood biscuits in mind when you start to do those Christmas DIYs, because I've got some ideas and I think they would be super fun to work into your Christmas decor. Final step here is I just put a little hot glue on the floral foam and put some uh, moss on there. Now don't do as I do. Normally I grab my white bucket from Dollar Tree to contain it, but if you like to be messy, I guess you could do it this way. And then always remember that you can totally customize this. You could make bigger trees, smaller trees. You could use longer dowel rods, lots of options to make this cute little woodland tree. Sliding into project number eight, we're gonna make a decorative cake stand. So I'm gonna start with one of these cutting boards from Dollar Tree and I popped off the little clear legs that it had on the bottom portion. And I'm actually gonna leave this side facing up on my cake stand because I like that it was smooth and I just preferred that look. Once that was done, I started taking my wood biscuits and I just put them on the outside of my cutting board. And the reason I did this is because I knew that if I actually attached them to my cake stand I would have a layer of the edge of the glass and I just didn't think that would be very pretty and so I went ahead and got these set up and then I just took a little bit of hot glue to go ahead and anchor these to the edge of the glass cutting board and once I got all the way around then I was ready to start layering on top of those and I kind of went in between each of the little um, wood biscuits and I ended up doing a total of five layers of of the wooden pieces. Now I'm ready to go ahead and attach my base and I'm going to be using a wooden candlestick that I got from Etsy and I'm going to use some of my Gorilla Clear Glue, uh, Grip Glue, and I'm going to attach it to the center of the cake stand. Now you're going to get, it's going to look like a sucker fish. I don't know what else to tell you, but it, I mean, I'm looking at it going, there's a fish on the bottom of my tray, but hey, you know what? You can cover it up. It really isn't that distracting, but that's what it reminds me of. And then while it was flipped upside down, I did go ahead and add one more layer of the biscuits on the bottom side. So that gave me a total of six levels of the biscuits. And then I left my natural. If you wanted to spray paint this, I think it would be really, really pretty if you went ahead and did that or painted it. But I'm just going all natural with my tray 
tray, my sucker fish, and calling it good. Sliding into project number nine is gonna be a wreath. Now I'm gonna make a mini wreath, but you could make a larger version if you would like. And when I thought about this, I thought mini wreath just because it's something you could maybe tuck into a three tier tray or even turn into an ornament if you'd like to. So I started with the wood pieces and I put them in a circle. And once I got my circle at that point, I literally was just winging it. I was sitting there singing a song that I made up called I'm winging it, I'm winging it, winging winging it and I just that's what I did I just winged it I put you know the pieces here I put the pieces there until I got it how I thought it looked like a nice little mini wreath and then once it was all attached um again I thought about leaving it natural but I went ahead and put on some green paint it's called foliage from deco art and I just brushed it until I got it covered how I liked and then that's it this one is all finished but I noticed that when you take two of these little wood biscuits and you put them kind of together at an angle they also look like leaves or um perhaps a little corn husk so keep these in mind for fall as well because i'm telling you you're going to be able to use these for a lot of different projects And for the last project, number 10, we are gonna be making a wooden trivet that you can set those hot pots on, but you could also take it a little further and if you wanted to make a tray. So I'm gonna be using the larger size wood biscuits for this project and I'm gonna take one of these cork sheets from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna fold back the uh, paper and make it to, you know, I guess open it up to the size that I want my trivet to be. Then taking my wood biscuits, I'm gonna go ahead and start by putting it on the bottom of it, but I'm gonna let the first row overhang just a little bit on the uh, cork sheet. Then I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing my rows all the way to where I'm ready to cut it off. And then once that's finished and I got the base layer down, I'm gonna go ahead and attach, or detach, I'm gonna go ahead and put on, well, I guess I am attaching it, another layer of these wood biscuits to fill in the holes. Now, because I'm planning to put hot pots on this, I'm not going to use hot glue because I don't want that to get soft. So I'm gonna use the Gorilla Clear Grip Glue. You could use E6000. I will say that I did try using super glue as my first little thing and it didn't work. It just soaked in to the wood piece so definitely don't do that and then um, once I get all my pieces down I just went in and flipped it over and then trimmed all the extra little pieces of the cork sheet and then that's it my little wood trivet is all finished And there you go, 10 DIYs using wooden biscuits. Let me know down in the comments if you are enjoying this kind of unofficial hardware series because I found some other things in the hardware store that you might wanna DIY with. I always love to know which projects that you guys are really loving, so let me know that down below also. And then one more thing, please let me know what is your favorite summertime snack, particularly something that cools you off because Texas is hot. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really, really appreciate it. Here are some more videos you might enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Bye.